In 2010, we may not have seen the biggest crash in NASCAR history. In August of 2010 at the Pocono Raceway, Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson were racing hard for position. The two made contact and sent Busch spinning, which the TV cameras followed. But what they showed next shocked all of us as Elliott Sadler's 19 car was nearly ripped in half and the engine was ripped out of the car. This was the only replay that ESPN caught of it though. Rumors had said that the car had flipped, or at least pirouetted around, after hitting a 90 degree wall. And you can kind of see it in Kurt Busch's onboard cam, but not really. And the hit also is said to have been the hardest in NASCAR history, at possibly over 100 Gs. The closest we have to actually seeing it are poorly shot videos that can barely capture anything from the track. It's amazing, because...